New at 9, tonight on You Paid For It, Elliot Davis hits the road to Wright City, Missouri. A couple calls us when they couldn't use a car they had just purchased. They say it's because of the state of Missouri. Elliot Davis sorts through all the trouble and gets action in tonight's You Paid For It. Elliot. Well, thanks, Vic. As you know, we, of course, try to keep You Paid For It on the road. That's exactly what we did this time. It's the first time in my travels that they took me to Wright City. I answered the call from a family they're used to spending most of the time dealing with horses, but this time they were caught up in a dispute with a state over a car with special meaning. That is tonight's You Paid For It. I went to Wright City after getting the call from Nancy and John Krinsky, who spend much of their time managing their stable of 25 horses. It's certainly enough to keep them busy, but they found themselves with a headache they hadn't counted on, not over a horse, but the used car that they couldn't use because of the Missouri Department of Revenue. They bought it for their grandson. So what's the problem? We have a car that we can't do anything with that we spent thousands of dollars on. Department of Revenue will not give us our title back. The Krinskys applied for the title back in April when they bought the car. Months later, it was still sitting as they waited for the title from the state. The fact that we can't give the car to our grandson and he comes up here and visits it. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of sad to watch your 19 year old grandson sit in a car and know it's his, but he can't do anything with it. Well, we'll see if we can get some answers. I would sure appreciate that, sir. Answers have been hard to come by. What surprises you most about this whole thing you're going through? We get no answers. There's just, as he put it, gobbledygook. There's just no remedy. I had better luck. After reaching out to the Department of Revenue, their communications director promised to investigate. Within days, this answer back from DOR. Elliot, the issue has been resolved. The title should print and be mailed out Monday morning. I went back to Wright City to talk to Nancy and John. So what's your reaction? You're going to get your title. <laughs> It's about time. <laughs> I'm very excited because I'd really like to give this car to my grandson. Well, I sent him a copy of your text to me that you had talked to them and it was on the way. And he sent me back a text, yes. <laughs> now they won't waste any time getting him this car. He's waited for a long time. I think because you got involved, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. They said they didn't want the media attention. And if somebody else has a problem, you're the guy to call. <laughs> We tried, and you can, of course, call us. Even though we did get the title, the state never did explain why it took so long in the first place. Still, this time we were able to help Nancy and John Krinsky. But keep in mind, we're here for you as well. So if you spot course of government spending, just go to our website, foxmoonow.com, where you can leave your tips and tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.